The movie begins with 13-year-old Lily, an introverted girl who is experiencing troubles transitioning to adolescence. Ever since her parents divorced, she has had a hard time getting along with them. Her only friend is a ginger mutt named Hagen, whom she spends all of her free time with. Lily's mom is going to Australia on a business trip and asks her ex-husband, Daniel, to look after their daughter and her dog. He works at a slaughterhouse, and the last time he saw his daughter was when she was still a child. Daniel is not quite happy about having a dog in his house. However, he is willing to sacrifice his comfort for Lily. Completely unaware of what his daughter likes, Daniel gifts her a bottle of soap bubbles. When they enter the house, Daniel's landlord tells him that the dog can't stay in the apartment. The man tries to negotiate with the woman, saying that Hagen won't stay there for long. During dinner, Lily plays with the dog and feeds him the food she stole from the table. This behavior annoys Daniel even more, and he scolds his daughter for breaking the rules in his house. At night, Lily wants to have Hagen sleep in the room with them. However, her father is against it, so he locks the dog in the bathroom. Hagen whines in anguish all night, keeping Daniel and Lily away. To calm her pet down, the girl comes over to him and plays the Hungarian Rhapsody number no. 2 on the trumpet. Hagen quickly falls asleep to the calming music, and Lily lays down next to him in the bathroom. In the morning, Daniel wakes up to a knock on the door. An animal control inspector pays a visit due to complaints from the neighbors. Daniel tries to conceal Hagen's presence in the house, but in that moment, the dog leaves the bathroom. The inspector informs him that according to the new law, Daniel needs to pay the tax for keeping an unregistered stray dog. The man becomes furious and refuses to pay money for his ex-wife's dog. Having overheard their conversation, Lily begins to worry that her father will send her pet to the animal shelter. To not leave Hagen home alone, she brings him along to her music school and hides him in the storage room. Due to the loud music, the dog runs out of the storage room and disrupts the class. The infuriated teacher demands Lily take the dog out of the classroom and get back to class. But the girl does not want to leave her friend alone, so she leaves with him. On her way home, Daniel catches up to Lily in his car. The music teacher called him. He yells at his daughter and insists that they take Hagen to an animal shelter. The girl doesn't want to say goodbye to her best friend and tries to persuade her dad to pay the tax for him. But the man remains adamant. He stops the car and throws Hagen into the street despite his daughter's tears and desperate pleas. The dog attempts to catch up with the driving car, but he can't keep up with it, so he ends up all alone in the middle of a busy highway. At night, Lily plans on searching for Hagen and looks in the refrigerator for some meat. Her father catches her in the kitchen and sends her back to sleep. For many hours, the dog faithfully faithfully waits for his owner at the same spot where he was abandoned, but she never comes for him. Hagen decides to go look for food and finds a dog that was hit by a car on the side of the road. He contemplates for some time whether he should eat one of his own kind, and in the end, he decides to look for different food. Following a scent, he finds a butcher's shop and hungrily stares at the meat. All of a sudden, his attention is drawn to a little white dog who tells him to follow him. He takes Hagen to a backyard of the market, where a few other dogs are finishing up the remaining meat. But when Hagen tries to get closer to the food, food bowls, other dogs start to bark at him. The butcher comes running to the noise and tells the dogs to go away. Hagen stays where he is and barks at the butcher, which angers the man even more. The ginger dog hides from him in the cutting room, but the butcher, armed with a knife, finds him there and plans to stab him to death. The white dog comes to Hagen's rescue, grabs the man by the leg, and saves Hagen. His new furry friend takes Hagen to an abandoned yard, where the rest of the stray dogs joyfully jump through puddles and drink water from them. The ginger dog also tries to join the pack, but the dogs do not accept the stranger, so Hagen and his white friend have to watch the pack from a safe distance. The next day, the dog trapping service finds the place, and the friends again have to flee to avoid being caged. Hagen is cornered by two catchers, and the friendly dog moves close to one of them. But the white dog alerts Hagen to the danger, so he squeezes through the bars and escapes. Trying to hide from his pursuers, Hagen runs through the alleys of the city and finds shelter with a homeless person. When the employees leave, the man feeds the trusting dog and puts a rope around his neck. Daniel takes Lily to a music school and forces her to apologize for her behavior. The girl convinces her father and teacher that she will no longer look for the dog and that she realized he was nothing but trouble. However, after class, Lily goes to the place where they left Hagen the day before but does not find her pet there. The girl doesn't give up and continues to search for the dog in the neighboring streets while hanging up missing posters everywhere. That same evening, a homeless man sells Hagen to a restaurant owner in exchange for a few bills and a plate of food. The man turns out to be a dealer who illegally sells stray dogs. The next morning, a customer named Sabolks comes to him to choose a dog to take part in the fight club. The dealer offers him one of the big, aggressive dogs, but the buyer chooses Hagen. The man tries to talk the customer out of taking Hagen and warns that the dog's skin is too thin and he is too kind to participate in such things. But Zabolks is confident that he will be able to make a fighting dog out of him before the next match. He feeds the dog sleeping pills to take him to his house. When Hagen wakes 
up, the man feeds him a protein supplement mix to build up his muscles. To instill aggression in the dog, Zabolx regularly beats him with a whip and subjects him to exhausting training. Soon, Hagen loses the remnants of his friendliness and turns into a cruel beast that is ready to tear his opponent to pieces at any moment. Meanwhile, Lily does not stop searching for her pet. She arrives at the animal shelter and asks the owner about Hagen. The woman says that the dog has little chance of surviving on the street. Most likely, he has already been hit by a car or has drowned in the river. While the girl was in the shelter, her bicycle was stolen and she ended up stranded alone far from home. At night, Zabolx takes Hagen to an underground dog fight club to test his new subject. The rules of the fight are simple. Two angry dogs fight against each other in the ring and the one that remains alive wins. The owner of the champion dog wins the big jackpot. Hagen is released into the arena against a large black Rottweiler. A fierce fight begins between the dogs, during which the ginger dog initially loses to his rival. But at the decisive moment, Hagen gnaws through his opponent's throat and wins the match. As his trainer rejoices in his victory, the ginger dog blankly stares as the bloody Rottweiler is carried out of the arena. Admiring Hagen's abilities, one of the spectators tries to buy the dog from the owner. When Sabolx refuses to sell his subject, the men begin to argue. Suddenly, the lights go out in the room. Sabolx thinks that someone has stolen the dog, but Hagen, taking advantage of the moment, runs away from his tormentor. At the same time, Lily runs home through the night streets. She accidentally bumps into Peter, her classmate from music school. The girl isn't in a hurry to return to her father, so she asks Peter to take her to a nightclub with him. At first, the guy refuses, but later decides to use Lily to sneak a bag of weed into the club. The teenagers enter the club as a couple, and the security guard quietly lets them through, despite the girl being too young. Once inside, Peter leaves Lily alone at the party while he goes off to have fun with some older girl. She gets jealous and decides to get drunk, which causes her to fall asleep right on the floor of the club. In the morning, the police come to the club and find the weed on her. They take Lily to the police station where she takes a drug test. The test turns out to be negative, and law enforcement officers hand over the girl to her worried father. Daniel cries, feeling guilty about what could have happened to his daughter. He apologizes to Lily and offers to adopt another dog from the shelter. The girl forgives her father and says that she no longer wants a dog, so they return home. The next day, Daniel has to go to work, but he is afraid that Lily will run away from home again. The girl promises him that she will not run away and persuades her father to go. Meanwhile, Hagen returns to an abandoned puddle yard where he finds his old white friend. They play together near the river and look for leftover food, but their quiet life is again interrupted by the dog catching service. This time, they manage to trap the poor mutts and take them to a shelter. The owner of the shelter notices that Hagen's paw is injured and sends the dog for treatment. While waiting for their turn in the treatment room, the mutts watch a Tom and Jerry cartoon. The ginger dog, Hagen, notices a woman euthanizing a sick mongrel in a room next to them and placing it in a black bag. Fortunately, Hagen escapes this fate. He receives treatment for his injuries and is placed in a cage with other stray dogs. The shelter staff distribute food bowls to the cages, but unlike the other dogs, Hagen does not even touch the food. He can no longer trust people. The following day, visitors come to the shelter to choose a pet. One of the visitors takes an interest in Hagen, but as the girl approaches his cage, he becomes aggressive and tries to pounce on her. The shelter owner orders an employee to handle the aggressive dog. At the same time, a concert begins at the music school where Lily performs. Lily's father, Daniel, attends the performance to support his daughter. When the employee attempts to put Hagen in a cage with other dogs, Hagen breaks free from his leash and attacks the man. He ruthlessly kills the employee by biting into his neck. Hundreds of dogs break free from their cages and join Hagen, choosing him as their leader. The shelter owner tries to stop Hagen, but he easily knocks her off her feet. The rest of the dogs run free, following Hagen. A huge pack of stray dogs fills the streets, causing panic among the city residents. Hungry and angry, they pounce on bystanders and take away their food. The pack even interrupts Lily's concert, surrounding the building from all sides. To ensure their safety, people barricade themselves in the concert hall and wait for the police to intervene. Lily believes that Hagen is among the stray dogs, and she decides to search for him. Peter, her friend from the music school, initially tries to dissuade her from this dangerous idea, but eventually helps her by lending her his bike. Lily rides through the deserted streets, hoping to find her ginger friend and stop the attack. Suddenly, the pack of stray dogs emerges from an alley and knocks Lily off her bike. Surprisingly, they don't attack her but continue running as if pursuing a specific goal. As the leader of the pack, Hagen decides to seek revenge on all those who harmed him. His first victim is the restaurant owner who sold him to Zabolx. The pack attacks the man, biting him to death and leaving bloody paw prints on the windows of his restaurant. Lily, chasing the pack, arrives at the scene of the murder. However, she is detained by the police for violating the curfew and is placed in a patrol car for her safety. Despite being in custody, Lily manages to escape
escape and heads to the butcher's shop, where she discovers the torn apart corpse of the butcher, another victim of Hagen's pack. Lily, horrified by the gruesome sight, musters the strength to call her father, Daniel. She informs him that she is determined to find Hagen before the police locate and shoot him. The police manage to surround and shoot a few dogs, but most of them escape and continue their rampage. Meanwhile, Zabolks watches the news about the stray dogs gone berserk, acting as an organized group. Hagen pays a visit to Zabolks, taking his pack with him. He orders the mongrels to attack the man, and they tear him to pieces while Hagen watches, baring his teeth. The white dog finds Lily and urges her to follow him, as he can lead her to Hagen. However, an animal control officer blocks their path and shoots the defenseless white dog. Despite Lily's desperate pleas, the officer approaches the wounded dog and ends its suffering. Lily rushes home to her father and discovers the lifeless body of their landlord. Now, she has no doubt that Hagen's pack is targeting specific individuals, and Daniel is likely the last target. Lily heads to her father's workplace and warns him of the danger. Concerned for his daughter's safety, Daniel goes to the slaughterhouse to find weapons. Meanwhile, Hagen's pack surrounds Lily in the street. As the ginger dog approaches her, Lily tries to communicate with him, but Hagen no longer trusts her after all he has been through. He growls and bares his teeth aggressively, ready to attack at any moment. Daniel emerges from the building, wielding a blowtorch to drive the pack away and save his daughter. However, this only further agitates the dogs, and they all start barking at Daniel. Lily, in tears, attempts to calm everyone down, but her efforts are in vain. Then she decides to play a rhapsody on the trumpet, the same melody she once played for Hagen. Hearing the familiar tune, Hagen finally calms down and lies down on the ground. The rest of the pack follows his lead, lying down as well and listening to the calming music. Still in shock, Daniel realizes that the danger has passed and his daughter is safe. Having finished playing, Lily lies down on the ground opposite Hagen and his pack. As dawn breaks, Daniel joins them. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.